Hey everyone, I wanted to make this video about micro benchmarking in Java because I've been reading a really good book about Java performance called um, Java Performance the Definitive Guide by Scott Oakes. And uh, he goes into this really, really good discussion about how micro benchmarking is so difficult for a couple of reasons. The first one being the just in time compiler that Java employs, which um, means that your code may or may not be compiled when you're actually micro benchmarking it and you have to make sure it does get compiled by warming it up first and also the java um the java jvm it uses so many optimizations you have to be careful that your code is not getting completely optimized away in your micro benchmarks so you have to be careful that you're actually pushing data into it and passing data out of it and using it otherwise the compiler is smart enough to see that you're doing something that's never getting used, it's just gonna completely optimize your code away. So in this benchmark, what I'm actually doing is I have a string concatenation versus a string builder test. And as you are probably aware, string concatenation is extremely slow because you're copying each character over character by character when you're concatenating strings together. And the reason is, is because strings are immutable. Um, if you use a string builder, on the other hand, you're just building up a list of strings and then at the end we're concatenate them all together when you say two string. So it's a, a single concatenation versus a concatenation for each time you're iterating over the array. Uh, so you can imagine that you've got something like n squared versus uh, a very linear or even constant time operation. <clears throat> so uh, what we're gonna do here is we have um, a big list of strings and I've created an array of strings 500 I allocated it up front and then I threw a bunch of um, this, this is just double uh, two string from math.random so it should be some fairly random strings we shouldn't have a lot of uh, duplicates in here and um, I'm just gonna print one out here so you can see what's in there uh, it should be maybe 10 or 20 characters long and then what I'm doing, I've got a warm-up test here, and then I've got the actual test, and I'm making sure to print out the string uh, each time. And this is to make sure that the uh, compiler doesn't optimize the code away. The other thing I've done here is the thing that I'm actually testing, the part that I'm benchmarking, and this is the actual string concatenation itself. I've moved these into other functions, other sub-functions here. And the reason I did that is because I'm going to turn on a flag in Java that I can see the compilation happening and I'm going to make sure these methods get compiled. Um, so let me show you that uh, real quick here. Uh, I've got this uh, run configuration set with the JVM arguments of dash xx colon plus print compilation. So we're going to watch the compilation happen in real time. So uh, for the full, the full test is warm up the code for test one, run test one, print out the timing, warm up the code for test two, run test two, and then print the timing. So I've got a string, an, an array of strings 500 long, and then I'm iterating 5,000 times over each test. So let's go ahead and run this. And you're gonna see, we're gonna get a whole bunch of stuff printed out here. So you're gonna see everything's compiling. All these Java methods are compiling. Uh, and right now, concat test got compiled. The benchmark is running. So what happened was we warmed up the code. A bunch of stuff just got compiled. And then I actually ran the benchmark. And you see nothing was getting compiled during the benchmark. So that's good. So that's our actual real benchmark. And then what we did was we got to the second test. And you saw it say warm up. And it actually hadn't even compiled that builder test. You see that the builder test up here, it didn't even get compiled until we started running the warm up. So we ran the warm up. The warm up got compiled. So you can see uh, ID number three got removed, got made non entrant, and then ID number four became the compiled version that the program used. And when we actually ran it, no compilation happened. So we know that we are running the, comp the compiled code. And of course, just because we know the time complexity in this, this took almost eight seconds and this took 46 milliseconds. So we know String Builder is much faster. That's not exactly what we were testing. This was just a micro benchmark to 
show the compilation steps. So I'm going to run this again. We should get something fairly similar. Again, first concatenate test is compiling while we're warming up. And you can see all the other Java classes got compiled. All the string builder stuff got compiled. Our, um, our string, uh, random, lots of other things got compiled. So that took 8 seconds, 47 seconds. I'm going to run this one more time. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment out the warm-up. And we're going to see if that changed the performance at all. So we'll just do that test here. I'm just going to keep waiting a second for this to finish up. OK. So I'm going to take this result here just so we can uh, keep an eye on what happened. So the, uh, the version where we warmed up the code first, it took 7.5 seconds and um, 45 milliseconds for the other one. Uh, here is the warm-up code for part one. I'm going to just comment this out. And here is the warm-up code for part two. Again, I'm going to comment that out. And we're going to run this. So we're going to see we, we skipped the warm-up part. We went right into um, compiling it during the benchmark. And yeah, we, we got something that took a little bit longer this time. Not a huge difference, just because we're doing it so many times, and we've actually subbed this out into a separate method, which, from what I've read, it makes it easier for the compiler to do its work uh, while the code is running, if you have it in a separate method. It can replace a hot loop while the loop is running, but it's easier to replace a method um, completely on the stack. So. Anyway, that's just an example of uh, showing um, all the compilation steps of your just-in-time compiler and how to do a microbenchmark correctly. Uh, and um, hope this helps you the next time you do a microbenchmark. Thanks for watching.